Strand Center in Plattsburgh undergoing a major transformation this year. NBC5's Elena Barilla has more on what's being done as work finishes up. Since January, the Strand Center for the Arts has undergone more than $750,000 worth of projects, all part of the state's downtown revitalization initiative. It's fantastic to be back uh, fully open to the public. And as you revisit the theater post-pandemic, it's improved since you last saw it. All of the carpeting, brand new guardrail for the balcony for increased safety. The theater has been open for a few weeks, hosting summer camps for now. But you'll be the guest at some pretty big shows again soon. Those restrictions just recently lifted, so that programming will begin again uh, late August and into the fall. The 23 Brinkerhof building still has some work left, but check out what it looked like before. The walls were crumbling, there had been water damage for decades, and now it's completely brand new. They'll have a soft opening for the new maker space on Tuesday, bringing in ETS staffing agency for their ready to create program, which prepares people for entry level manufacturing jobs, one of the leading industries in the region. We were certainly having a difficult time figuring out where we were going to hold this program, and we were really going to design our own space somewhere. So uh, and that would have been a big job. So we are really happy that the makerspace came available. I will be teaching them hands-on technical skills. We're going to do some you know, measuring, some woodworking, critical thinking, problem solving. Um, just really great skills that everyone should have. We're going to use the, uh, the laser cutter and 3D printers. Right here, uh, we'll probably use the CNC router for some portion of it as well. Painting, drawing, computer, and music studios too. Fresh walls, floors, lighting, and power. It completely reinvented the property. Hoping to launch a grand opening to the public by early fall. In Plattsburgh, Elena Barilla, NBC5 News.